Now I'm going to ask you the tough question that, that I get from Illini guys, subscribers. They say, Steve Bardo bends over backwards to be so fair to the Illini that he's unfair to the Illini and he actually is harder on them than Robbie Hummel is on Purdue. Now, you can't control the Robbie Hummel c- component of this, but th- that's the argument that we get all the time on our boards. I'm not saying it's credible. I'm not saying it's not credible, but you're in the shoes. You played four years, arguably maybe the the, the best four years of the Illini basketball program, but you played here during a high point. You're doing your, the best to broadcast a game. How do you come to a, a balance so that the fans who are, let's say, from Purdue, who are watching you broadcast a Purdue Illinois team game, don't feel like you're giving an unfair benefit of the doubt to the Illini. And how do you make sure you don't go overboard on the other end? Because that's a question that people have all the time. Yeah. I, and it's funny that when I used to hear that, it would bother me. But now when I do hear that, it, I smile because. It's an example of the passion that college basketball fans have. Yep. The Illini fan base is as passionate as any in the country. And you want that in our business, in the media. You want passionate fans. And so if they feel like I bend over backwards and I'm not fair with the Illini, that's fine. Because that's a sign of passion among the fan base. Here's the thing that people don't realize is that I have two sons. And if my sons are playing a game – you would not know that they were my sons unless you saw the the name on the back of the jersey because I can call a game and I can be very down the middle with them. There's a guy named Dan Steer that used to be the coordinating producer at ESPN, and he saw something in me early on, and he put me on an Illinois-Iowa game early in my career. I couldn't believe I got it. It was over in Iowa City, and he said, Stephen, you did a really good job. You only said we twice. (laughs) When I was talking about the Illini. Yep, I got it. He said, said, but you did a really good job of staying down the middle. He said, I know it's going to be hard, but once you master this, he said, you're going to have a great career. So fast forward, I'll give these, I'll give the Illini fans a story. I'm in Maryland. I I called Maryland, I believe it was Minnesota the night before, and I'm getting ready to leave. I get a call and it's Robbie Hummel. And Robbie Hummel is almost in tears. And I'm like, man, what's going on? He said, Bardo, how do you handle the Illinois fans when you call an Illinois game, man? He said, the Purdue fans are crushing me. He said, they don't understand, Stephen. I tore my knee and came back, and I, I bled for that school. I, I blood, sweat, and tears. I said, Robbie, here's the thing, bro. Fans are short for fanaticals. They're passionate about their fan base, man. And so if you're – if Fans think that when Stephen Bardo calls a game for the University of Illinois, Illini fans think Stephen Bardo should be pulling for Illinois. Stephen Bardo's color right now is green. It ain't orange and blue. <laughs> it's green. I like greenbacks. I like to get paid for a job well done. Now, if Illinois is playing Purdue or if Illinois is playing Ohio State has moms as well. They have parents that are watching the game as well. They have family members watching the game as well. I'm doing them a disservice. If I'm a homer for Illinois, every time I come on the air, I wouldn't be working these networks if I was a homer. That's one of the things that have allowed me to progress in my career. So I'd smile when I hear that Illini fans do that and that some fans just aren't happy when I'm calling Illinois games. I don't, I can't do anything about that. And I've let that, I've let that go. I've let that burden go of trying to, Oh man, I'm an Illini. My, my work, my history, it speaks for itself. And I just, I like the fact that the Illini fan base is one of the most passionate in college basketball. And I love it. 